Belle Isle Coast Guard Station is ready 24 hours a day. Station 632, we're underway at this time. Our main mission is search and rescue. We live for that search and rescue case. Um, we just love to help people out. The station patrols the Detroit River from Lake St. Clair to Lake Erie, but much of the focus is near downtown Detroit. We pretty much stay in the area of uh, high traffic, high population areas such as the Ambassador Bridge, closer down towards the steel plants. Today, they're performing safety checks on boaters on the river. And then we just check overall condition, life jacket, make sure it's in good working condition. Our job at the end of the day is just making sure that the boaters out here are safe, they have what they need to have, and in the worst case scenario, that they can make it home that night. In the past year, the Belle Isle Coast Guard has been on 100 search and rescue missions, but it's not the only mission. The Coast Guard has been part of Homeland Security since 2003 and is actively patrolling the international border with Canada. We'll look for anything um, that would constitute cross-border criminality. We could go from anything from drug trafficking all the way to human smuggling. We work closely with our uh, cross-border partners, with the Canadians, with the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. The Coast Guard can work on both sides of the river through a binational agreement called Shiprider. Detroit and Windsor, Ontario were part of a pilot program in 2005, setting up the framework for the current agreement. When we're working with the Canadians on the Canadian side, we're considered peace officers in Canada. We're certified peace officers. We can enforce Canadian laws in Canada. And when they're working on our side, they're considered customs officers accepted, and they can enforce U.S. laws on our side. No matter the situation, the Coast Guard are trained and ready. We'll work two days on, two days off, and uh, every other weekend we will have um, on. There's times where we get woken up in the middle of the night, 2 a.m., 3 a.m., we got a vessel taking on water, and uh, we got to go out. And we're out in about two minutes' time, and uh, we're searching. For more stories on the U.S. Coast Guard, head to greatlakesnow.org.